Tembi take over. Hour of the Tembi take over. Now I'm in Umbali, Ngozi. I've got a beautiful lady in studio, Kim Jade. But I'm going to speak to her just now. I'm excited that she's here. Yeah. She's gorgeous, guys. She's gorgeous. You must go on my live. You must see. You must see how how pretty this child is. But how are you doing? Babe, I'm so good. I'm so excited to be here with you. Oh, I'm like, they're yes. going to die because now it's two bubbly people in one space. Ooh, yeah. It's going to be like lots of noise. Lots yes, and lots and so lots much. of noise. For people who don't know, who is Kim Jade? I almost said Kimberly. Oh my gosh, I almost took out your full name. <laughs> who is Kim Jade? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm a Zimbabwean presenter, model, fashion and travel blogger. And do it where all. do people see you? Where are you? Where where do we see you? You guys can see me every day on MTV Base. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's my main paycheck. Yeah, you're, like, you're like, that's your main paycheck. <laughs> so there's more than one. How did you get into MTV Base? Um, so it's so funny. I was a full-time model in Cape Town. Mm. And I was doing that for a long time after I graduated. And so I started Instagramming and started my own blog. And then I came to Joburg up and down for events. And the talent manager at Viacom for MTV Base, her name is Melanie. She saw me on Instagram and she DM'd me. You guys, the power of the DM. You gotta jump via it's DM. It's a real thing. Do not ignore she DM'd DMs. Me. Exactly. Don't decline all. <laughs> Read them. She DM'd me and she's like, um, "Are you interested in coming in for a screen test?" And I was like, <gasps> "Yes." I didn't. I didn't play it cool at all. At all. You're like, yes. Ah! Where and where? Pick me. And then um, I went in the next day for the screen test, and they called me the day after, and they're like, "You got the job." Like, yes. Oh my goodness, that is so simple. It's That's so unfair. like the dream. <laughs> so the dream. Bless. I'm like, this is not. There's people who literally stand in lines and lines. Yeah. You're your co-host. You're the DJ the search. Yeah. Yes, and stood in hours, yeah, cool. and you were just like. Yeah, I just got a DM. Not and, even. Uh, got a job. Because I literally, I decided yes. in the de- in December of 2016 that mm. I wanted to get into TV. Mm. And Joburg is the only place w- place to do it. Really? There's so Cape no, Town was hard. No, there were, there's like two shows there. Yeah. You know? And here, there's, they're always developing new shows mm. and pushing for new talent. Mm. And so I literally put everything on a truck, came here with no job and mm. was like, I'm going to get into it. And then they DM and me. And I said, oh, it. look at God. It's amazing. And I'm even just thinking about your growth because you are on MTV Base doing the entertainment news mm-hmm. every day and then all of a sudden we see Kim take over which is your yes. own fashion show so tell yes. us more about that so um, Kim's fashion takeover is it's a, it was supposed to be a one so special mm. and it kind of did so well nationwide it was trending um, it was number four on Twitter I think they're like okay let's give it another shot and now this is going to be a whole season like, yeah. which is so incredible and, like, yes. <laughs> and now we have um, Kim takes LA because I recently went to LA and um also, they're going to make the announcement that I'm going to be on MTV Africa and MTV Base, which oh, is really exciting. Because they've never great. had local talent on MTV. Yes, yes. Which is just, it's a, such a blessing. Oh, my goodness. And you don't keep it a secret that you're Zimbabwean. I see oh, you like, yeah, honey, you, proudly, push, you even push it. You put us like proudly, your first thing on your Instagram. First thing with the flag and everything. Yes. Um. Why is that? Why do you want to, is the reason why you're pushing that? Do you feel like there's a patriotism that you have to push? It's not, it's, I don't think it's something you have to do. Mm. I think if you're proud of where you come from, and yes. I truly am. Zimbabwe is such an incredible um, place to grow up and the education standards are something to be proud of. And yes. I yeah, I own where I come from and I think if you push a message of being proud of your heritage and where you come from, other people will do the same, you know? Love, so, yeah. love, love it. So now we've got this new thing that's coming up on um, Tembi Takeover. Well, we've decided, Uh-oh. Guti, from now on, if there's interviewed guests we want, it's nothing hectic. Oh, there's pressure. No, there's nothing hectic. <laughs> is that we want to make you have fun with us. Yay! You know? oh, I want you so to fun. dance with me. So I asked Kim, which what are her three favorite songs? Yes. Obviously, because we have to keep it home. Mm-hmm. There has to be one South African song, mm-hmm. one international mm-hmm. song, Mm-hmm. And one African song Okay So I don't know Where I'm going to start Let's see I'm, I'm just depending On my vibe mm-hmm. um, It could <laughs> Let's go international Okay International And I'm going to let you Tell us what it is Sure Because you know Your favorite international okay, song so the massive Metro listeners <laughs> The song coming up no, I'm just joking <laughs> Guys I'm a big French Montana fan Also he's obviously African So that's pretty great yes. So he's international And he's African Yes He recently released A song called Famous And yeah It's so cute And I that's exactly it. What you are <laughs> Just famous One day girl one day. Only on Massive Metro. Metro.